about the 160 points for the PR. Can you brief about it? Essentially, a combination of your age, your qualification, your work experience, uh, if you're married, your spouse work experience, uh, sorry, your spouse qualification, uh, if you have work experience in which industry, whether that industry is in the long term skill shortage list, if you're cool. Well, what kind of a qualification, what level of a qualification, whether you have a skilled work, uh, skilled uh, employment in New Zealand or an offer of uh, skilled employment in New Zealand. So it's basically a combination of all these things. So for if you're in a particular age, I mean, I can't make out from your uh, query how old you are, but if you're in a particular age, then obviously you get certain number of points. The younger you are, the more points you get, so on and so forth. You get points till up to the age of 55 for age and then there are points awarded for uh, different uh, other parameters that I just mentioned. So it has 160 points, which is the current pass mark. Uh, but the more important thing is uh, uh, a lot. some people, not a lot, but some people might get that 160 points uh, even when they are outside New Zealand. But besides getting that 160 points, you also need to fulfill uh, one of these two conditions. Uh, uh, condition number one is that you need to have either employment in New Zealand or an offer of employment in New Zealand in a skilled employment or, or, or you should have studied in New Zealand for at least two years and acquired a master's or a PhD. So it's not only getting that 160 points from a combination of all those factors that I mentioned, but you also need to uh, fulfill one of these two conditions. So that's the way it works. So what we do as an organization, uh, as I said, I'm a licensed immigration advisor. There's my license right there, that one there. And um, another one of our senior uh, members is about to get a license in a couple of months time. Another senior member of our team is also about to start the course to be able. To, so we're going to be a group of about six to seven licensed uh, immigration advisors shortly. Uh, so what we do when uh, we get a client is to do their assessment to check if they're matching all the criteria for not only for the 160 points, but also for the other criteria. And if you don't match, then we suggest other pathways like probably coming as an international student and then being onshore in New Zealand and uh, coming here, studying, getting your post-study work visa and then being able to find a job because that then fulfills that condition.